Hello again, I'm Zvika from Lilusoft and today I'm going to show you a very smart way to organize files that are going to be dropped into your uh, drop folder. Okay, uh, let's assume that this is a drop folder that is, that is going to accept a, a huge amount of files. And at the end of the day you're going to find yourself looking at a long, long list of files that you cannot control them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use two of my utilities together to organize this, the files that are going to be dropped here, automatically organize them into subfolders according to different sorting uh, logics. Okay, so the tools that we are going to use are a watch for folder, which is my uh, moni uh, folder monitoring utility, and uh, uh, the command line version of order in my folder, I have also a GUI version. This utility can help you uh, organize a lot of files into subfolders according to different sorting uh, logics. Okay, so <coughs> uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to just to show you the screen of order in my folder. If I will run it from the command line with no parameters, okay, uh, it's going to be order in my folder. With no parameters, I'm going to get this help a screen, small help screen that shows me the syntax of the command and also I can see the different sorting types that are supported. I can s move files into subfolders uh, according to different dates format, that's dates format, uh, modify the, the modification dates and creation dates. I can also move files into subfolders according to the file types which means uh, uh, exe, DLL, ini files, text files, and so on. And also I can uh, sort files into subfolders according to the first character in the file name. Okay, this was just to see the, the uh, syntax of the command. And now we can start doing it. And, uh, okay, again, the, the, this example, in this example I'm going to drop a lot of files into this drop folder and they will be automatically uh, moved into subfolders according to the uh, sorting logic that I will decide. Okay, so we will start by creating a batch file that will execute order in my folder. Okay, it's going to be a very simple uh, batch file. Let's create a new <coughs> text file. Okay, can leave the name uh, for this moment, we will change it later. Okay, and inside this a batch file, I'm going to insert, insert the following command. First of all, let's uh, initiate order in my folder. Now let's point it to our uh, uh, drop folder. The drop folder is here under demo. So it's C. It's going to be C. Demo. Drop folder. Okay. The next thing uh, is going to be uh, the file mask and uh, I'm going to execute it on all the files in the folder, uh, in the drop folder. Of course I can do it only on uh, exe files, only DLL files, only JPEG files and so on. But now I'm going to execute it on all the files so it's going to be like this. Uh, now it's the sorting logic and I'm uh, selecting by the modification date so it's minus MD for modification date uh, and the last one, last parameter, let's me, let me uh, decide uh, what is the minimum age of files uh, to be, uh, to be uh, processed I'm going to run it on all the files so I'm going to put here 0 that's all, this is the command and now I'm going to save it and close it and now it's a good time to rename it to a batch file name. Let's call it go.bat. Uh, okay, yes. And we are almost ready. Now we just need to configure our monitoring utility to detect new file and execute this, uh, this batch file. Okay, so let's open a uh, watch for folder. I'm using the free version. Free version is enough for this example because I'm monitoring only a single only a single folder. Okay, let's now browse to my demo folder and here is our drop folder. This is the folder that we are going to monitor, okay? So you can see that here this is the name of the folder. We don't have any subfolders and we are monitoring uh, only file create. So let's check file create. 
Now I'm going to select the batch file that we've just created and I want this batch file to be executed every time a new file is created inside this folder. So I'm going to browse, I have a filter for exe file, I will change it to batch file and here is our batch file, let's select it and click open and now we just need to give it a name, let's give it a name, demo and apply and now we are jumping to the watch list. Okay, uh, I can see my demo, uh, my demo watch, I can see that it points into my drop folder, it is going to monitor for RC which is file create and the action will be executed. Now let's start the monitor, you can see the colors changed and the buttons became uh, disabled, so the monitor is running and now it's a good time to minimize it to my uh, system tray. Okay, now let's check the power of this, those two utilities together. I have here a bunch of uh, uh, pictures, image files, uh, 40 of them. I'm going to select all and now I'm going to copy them. Now it's going to be very fast. It's going to be very fast and now I'm going to paste those files into my drop folder. Okay, and as you can see the file were processed. Yes, I'm again I'm inside the same drop folder. I just copy the list of this big list of files. Okay. And the result was that uh, order in my folder have moved each file into a subfolder according to his uh, modification date. Okay, so it was a very, very fast sorting mechanism. Uh, as you can see, there are no more files here. All the files are inside uh, subfolders. And the subfolders are sorted according to the modification dates of all the files. So uh, this is very fast, very powerful. I can now drop another bunch of files into this folder and they will also be processed by the same way. Uh, again, I can also uh, make this order by different uh, other uh, sorting mechanism or logics. Uh, this sorting was according to the modification date. Uh, this is all for this time. Thank you.